Rick, could you give us a moment alone? No, sweetheart, I'm not going to leave you alone with this. I had no idea that you were this insecure, Rick. I'm not outside. So what is this about Lizzie? Well, I'm concerned about her. She's uh, teamed up with Billy Lewis and uh, is on this misguided adventure to where she thinks she can can tilt at windmills. Oh, so she beat you in a business deal, is no, what you're saying? No, 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 no. That was just beginner's luck. Well, what do you want me to say to her, Alan? Do you want me to tell her not to be ruthless, ambitious, competitive? Those were all qualities you instilled in her when she was still teething. You want her to turn into me? Look, um, <clears throat> she's been in free fall ever since Sarah died, and at least now she's focused on something besides her loss. Yes, I know the feeling. Some things uh, you never get over when you lose them. Alan, how did you know that my appointment was today? I make it my business to know. Not only about your prenatal test today, but the ones that you have skipped, which concern me. So Lizzie was just an excuse, huh? You, just, you still think that you're entitled to share in Rick's and my baby. Divorce is a piece of paper. Marriage is a piece of paper. You ignore one, I'll ignore the other. You can buy up Main Street, you can fix the election, but my baby is none of your business. Your baby is being neglected. Now, Rick thinks he's all-seeing, all-knowing. Rick is a doctor. But he's not a gynecologist. Our baby needs all the tests that she Our deserves. Baby? Are you listening to yourself? You know, there is one thing in this world that doesn't belong to you. <laughs> this baby. Alan, you're on my turn now. Get the hell out of here now. Well, I'm glad to see you're not threatened. No one is going to stalk well, my wait, pregnant Are you threatening me? That's as exactly what I'm doing. That I paid Please. for myself? Are you okay? Beth, I can't explain it, but I still have this connection. Alan. Connection, Alan. You don't give a damn about this baby. You just want something you can't have. It's always been that way. We shared a baby together. Doesn't that mean something, Beth? Of course I'm it does. But it's... Yes, this is Dr. Bauer. I want security here right away. Security. He's that's just trying to impress you, that's all. No, I'm going to do anything I can to protect my wife and my child. You got that? You thing? can't throw me out you of here. You want to see me try? Wait, you want to see me try? Get the hell out of here. Bauer. Just get him out. Get him down to, to the lounge right away until the police show up. The police were do this. What? No one stalks my wife, Alan. No one. No one. You know you're going to lose your job over this. You know who I am? Sure I do, mate. <laughs> Cyrus. Yeah, no need to thank me. We're family, right? But maybe we'll stop at the local for a couple of beers. Yeah. My treat, huh? <laughs> I might get a restraining order against this maniac. He's just gonna beat it, you know? We just have to ignore him. That's our only choice. He still thinks that this baby is his. That he thinks he's Napoleon. That's no, what he thinks no, he is. No, Rick. He lost a child. My child. And he may never get over it. I know that I won't. Which makes me think that maybe he's right. You know. Forget about Alan. Okay? This is our baby. It's ours. Now, nothing can take away from... The loss that you had with your baby, honey, but no one's going to take this away from us, no. Okay? Well, yeah, I, I know that. The, the DNA test settled all of that. Yeah. I, I'm talking about the other prenatal tests. I'm Sweetheart, saying that maybe no, no, wait, we wait, should wait, schedule... Wait, 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 wait. Who's the doctor right here? Now, don't you think I'm doing everything I can about that? Right? Of course, of course. But like Alan said... Alan just wants know. to cause trouble. That's all Alan does. Doesn't he? Don't you think that we should be on the safe side, though? Don't you Beth, think that Beth, that... Beth, 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 come here. Baby is safe. She's safe and she's healthy and she's going to stay that way until she's in your arms. Okay? Dr. Bauer, you're wanted yeah. in ICU. Yeah. 
Would you just tell them to get somebody else? No, no, it's 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 fine. It's fine. Um, your family will wait, Doctor Power. Okay. Hey, Lillian, <laughs> would you would you please tell your beautiful daughter that she has nothing to worry about? Beth, you have nothing to worry about. So what are you worried about? Oh, it's it's nothing. I'm sure it's just you know normal mommy pregnancy jitters. Sweetie, what is it? Mom, would you would you call Doctor Sedwick and ask her to schedule some prenatal tests for a friend of yours? Why don't you want to use your name? I know it, it's it's silly. It's I know it's it's silly. It's just I don't want Rick to know about it. Okay, and when would you, or rather, your friend, like to see the doctor? As soon as possible. I've been looking for you. It's about that husband of yours. Will you lay off, Alan? I know exactly how you feel about Cyrus. Well, I know what I said. No, you said he had no place in the company. Well, I happen to disagree with you. As a matter of fact, I have just transferred a huge chunk of spalding stock to him. Yeah. Therefore, he will be able to sit in on the meetings. He will have a vote. And <laughs> he'll be able to prove himself from the inside. Well, 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 well that's your prerogative, Alexander. If you want that. I know, I know. I know what you think. You think he's going to be taking advantage of me. No, he's going to rob me blind and then leave me brokenhearted. Well, I'll tell you something. You are wrong. Listen to me, listen to me. Cyrus is a natural-born con artist. He plays by his own rules and makes them up as he goes along. And you're describing yourself exactly. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. So you have no reason to go around looking down your nose at someone like Cyrus. What do you mean you know? I admire his ingenuity, Alexandra. Since when? And just how much have you been drinking? Alex? Well, I, look, I only had a couple of brews with uh, with Cyrus at the local, but you know that Aussies make great beer. You. Hmm. And Cyrus. Yes. And I think we can find a place for him after all.